Okay, so today I will teach you about financial management and accounting. So this is the learning outcome that you will learn for this topic. So we, you will learn about the importance of financial management. Okay, you will know that you need to do the income statement, balance sheet and cash flow for your business. Okay, you need to recognize the financial resources to support your business. Okay. So basically, the importance of financial accounting is to analyze the company financial positions, meaning to say you need to know uh, how much money that you do, okay, how much money that you make for your business, okay. Uh, so from this uh, financial accounting, it will lead your business to success. Okay, so it also help to generate corporate finance. Okay, that help you to make more money. Okay, it also help you to do some decision making for your company. If you have more money, then you will know how to process your product. Okay, you know how much money that you need to produce your product. Okay, so. This is the type of cost, okay? Type of cost that you need to know. We have two one, two costs. First is cost of goods sold, okay? Uh, the second one is operating expenditure or apex, okay? So you need to know this thing, okay? For your level, you just know uh, this one: cost of goods sold and operating expenditure. Okay, so cost of goods sold means the raw material, okay, the end delivery cost. This is already covered in uh, cost structure, lah. okay, previously, you just follow that things. Okay, so this is the type of cost, okay, we have fixed cost and variable cost. Combine this thing, the, the combination between fixed cost and variable cost, we call it total cost, okay. Remember, you need to mark up 30% for your business to get more profit. Lah. Okay, make sure that you mark up your product 30%. Okay, so what is fixed cost? Is example like salary, okay, insurance, equipment rental, okay, and legal fee. Lah. The cost that already fixed, okay, you cannot change the cost already. For variable cost is based on commissions, labor hour, okay, so the cost always change, okay, based on the uh, labor, lah, okay, how many hours, how many days that you've been paid, okay, uh, this normally fixed cost is paid by month, monthly, variable cost is uh, paid uh, based on your hour okay maybe days okay so this is the cost of goods sold deliver cost raw material cost okay and then this is the operating uh, expenditure lah. okay so you need to know this thing lah, fixed cost and variable cost so later in your report you need to do these three things financial statement income statement balance sheets and cash flow Okay, so income statement is to predict the profit and loss business. Okay, pro forma, uh, don't put pro forma, just direct balance sheet. Okay, for your income statement, put income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow for your report. Okay, so balance sheet is about asset and liability. Cash flow is the projection of your cash lah. Uh, so this is the example of income statement okay uh, so re let's say that you are selling your uh, bread okay the bread is two ringgit okay so times 100 so you get 200 here lah. and then the raw material cost of good good sold Okay, maybe your cost is one ringgit and fifty cent my uh, times one hundred. So that is your uh, cost of sale. Lah. 
okay so just minus then you will get gross profit okay here is your salary put it here your rental your lesson your marketing your flyer okay everything put here and then you combine it together and then you will get net profit okay remember gross profit and net profit okay so this is the example of balance sheet okay so you need to do this lah. fixed asset liability current asset and owner equity okay so here you you only focus on this thing cash and capital only okay and then how many profit that you get the net profit you can get from this one from, uh, income statement okay then you put income statement here and then your capital and then your cash lah, how much to cash that you have later okay and then this is the cash flow statement okay so here is the cash balance cash balance means the startup of, of your business and then the cash receipt is this one lah. Uh, how much cash that you have okay and then the profit okay later you minus with cash payment and then you have cash balance there okay so this is the cash for uh, if you don't have enough money for your business you can sell your asset get a bank loan lah. this is just a common sense okay so this is the break even point so you need to do this thing lah. so break even point is to calculate the minimum sales amount in unit or revenue to cover the cost of your production lah okay so remember this uh, formula fixed cost divide price minus variable cost okay so just follow this formula okay so this is the example lah the cost involved to produce okay 5000 uh, pieces of titanium bottle as follow are so you have total cost 40000 and fixed cost is 25000 and total sales is 60000 so we need to calculate so remember the formula so total cost equal to fixed cost and plus variable cost okay you just put it a number here okay i think you know the algebra okay so you can get the variable cost okay just minus 40 to 25 and then you have 15,000 okay so here is the example to calculate it okay so total sales divide 5,000 pieces so we have price per bottle okay for example like this one okay uh, so here you will get total sales is 60,000 divide 5,000 so you have 12 ringgit per bottle okay uh, so this is total sales okay this is total sales so this is total cost variable cost okay the variable so you already get the variable cost right this one and then divide 5000 pieces and then you get 3 ringgit per bottle okay so remember the formula break even point in unit fixed cost is this okay divide this one 12 ringgit minus 3 ringgit okay so this is the break even point okay uh, at least uh, you need to sell 2778 unit in order to get the break even point if this uh, if you you sell 200 uh, 2779 units means you get profit okay less you get loss lah okay so this is how to calculate it uh, so at least from here you times three ringgit and then this is the break even point in uh, ringgit okay okay so i hope you understand about this one okay thank you very much